You know, in my opinion, one of the most difficult things in Minecraft is brewing potions. I mean, sure, you can go and look it up online. You can look up on how to brew potions, but if you're somebody that doesn't really want to go online and try to search stuff up, or if you're new to the game, you might just want to go ahead and have like an in-game section to go ahead and teach you all about potions. And well, today we're going to be looking at a potion research pack, which was created by Procrastinator, and it basically allows you to have a brewing guide. So if I go and place on the brewing stand, you did not find anything inside of here. There's not even a recipe book to go ahead and teach you on how to brew. Which I think that a recipe book would be very, very awesome. But if I go ahead and open up my inventory, we now resolve the question mark being replaced with a brewing stand icon. So I go and click on this. All these different tabs have just been replaced with something to do with brewing. So for example, if I go and click on this right here, this will go ahead and tell you about the fuel, the ingredients, and the water bottle locations. If I click on this right here, this will go ahead and tell you the things that you need to have for the brewing. So like you need a brewing stand, obviously. You need cauldrons for the water. You need blaze powder, glass bottles, and water bottles. If I click on this, this will go ahead and tell you on how to get yourself a certain type of potion. So for an awkward potion, that requires another ward, and that's going to allow you to create more complex potions. Redstone Dust creates the mundane potion, which has extended duration. The Glowstone Dust creates a Thick Potion, which enhances the level of the potion. Fermented Spider Eye creates the Potion of Weakness in a Corrupts effect. But then for the Gunpowder, that's going to be for the Splash Potion. We already know all about that. Dragon's Breath creates the Lingering Potions, which makes the Potion linger just a little bit more. But if I go ahead and come down here, we have ourselves this, and that's actually broken. Not sure why that is. Click on this. This is where the fun stuff begins. So this will go ahead and teach you on how to get yourself the certain potion effect. So like we have some potion of healing, fire resistance, regeneration, and so on and so forth. And this is just very, very handy. And I like this quite a bit. And so if I go down a little bit more, these are gonna be like for the bath potion effects. And on the very bottom, we have ourselves the turtle shell, which just creates the potion of the turtle master, which I think nobody ever makes. It's very, very horrible. But if I click on this right here, this is actually not just for standard vanilla stuff, but this is also for the Education Edition toggle. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is basically what I'm talking about right here. So this will basically allow you to get the ability of having some stuff from the Education Edition, such as the chemistry features, like you can get antidotes, you can get like balloons, and all sorts of other fun things. I think it is quite useful if you do have yourself the Education Edition on, but if you're somebody that doesn't really use Education Edition, then you know what, this doesn't really apply to you all that much. But just so you know, the antidote cures poison, the elixir cures weakness, the eye drops cures blindness, then the tonic cures nausea. And you do have to go and brew up the certain amount of, I think, um, but you do actually have to go ahead and get yourself, but you do have to actually get yourself the elements in order to go and brew those down to those potions. But if I click on this right here, this is just a little summary. So it's a little bit of a bigger chart than we had before with these up here. But this is actually just a much better chart in my own opinion. It might get a little bit confusing. But if you go in and understand this a little bit more. It might actually start to actually make a little bit more sense. There is some other guides that the creator did make. He did make a redstone guide. And he did also create a chemistry guide. Which was for education edition. Now also if you do pause the game and you go down to settings. You can also go ahead and find yourself the guide by clicking on banner guide. Yeah, he did have a banner guide, but he forgot to go ahead and rename this to the brewing guide. So it's a little bit of a bug right there. But if I click on there, then you can go ahead and find your way back around here as well. So anyway, I do think that Vercrossolator did a really great job at creating this. And hopefully he does end up making some more guides in the future. But I do want to hear your thoughts about what you think of this down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.